everyone welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be talking about my current favorites and i'm going to show you what i hauled during the sephora vip event if you want to see what they are then keep watching before we get started if you're new here welcome if you're returning welcome back thank you so much for your continued support if you haven't yet subscribed please consider hitting that subscribe button hit the like button and activate that notification bell without further ado Let's jump right in. So my first favorite is, I want to introduce you guys to Magic Mind, and they're also sponsoring this portion of the video. I did 14 days of Magic Mind Challenge. I wrote three things that I plan to do for the next 14 days to become my best self. The first thing I wrote down was to complete tasks. The second thing was to produce more YouTube content. And the third thing was to reach out to my family and friends. Magic Mind is also donating a portion the proceeds to the rainforest. I'm gonna put the link to their website down below so you can find out more. So I have been drinking these Magic Mind shots. They're little shots, they look like this, and I call this a little shot that makes you focus. These are all empty because I drank them. In the bottle it says, do more, stress less. It consists of green tea matcha, adaptogens, neurotropics, and honey. I'm very familiar with the benefits of green tea matcha, and that's something that I do enjoy here and there. But having all of these in one shot, I was really blown away with. I end up drinking two or more cups of coffee per day, and that makes me jittery throughout the day. And I have those caffeine crashes. The Magic Mind Shot helped me clear the brain fog that I sometimes get when I'm trying to focus on something. It also helped me cut down my coffee intake. This gives me sustainable energy throughout the day, which really helps me to move on with my day and stay productive and stay energetic. I'm down to one coffee cup per day and I drink this one right after. If you guys are about to do any type of drinking, any type of shot, this is the way to go. Very big on supplements and a holistic approach to health. So I'm familiar with many ingredients that are in here. This contains nootropics. It helps with productivity, memory boost, decrease in stress and anxiety. And I really needed help with those things because sometimes my anxiety goes through the roof. This has really kept me calm and sane whenever things got a little bit insane. This has lion's mane and cordyceps mushrooms, which are two supplements that I take on a daily basis. And I also give it to my family. There are so many benefits to these mushrooms and I just knew that putting them all into one little shot would be so beneficial for me. It really increased my focus and attention. L-theamine, which is found in matcha, helps increase focus and attention. I found myself completing those tasks. I found myself producing more YouTube content. You guys might have noticed that. And I have been reaching out more to my family and friends. Don't forget to check out Magic Mind and join the challenge. You can find the link in the description box below, as well as my code for 20% off. So now I'm going to move on to what I hauled during the Sephora VIB sale. I have three bags here. I did some damage. I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Recovery Set. I've been using all these products so far, but I put them back in the boxes just to show you. So there was an insert inside that kept these looking nice. And now they look sad. They're just laying there. And the set comes with a 15 ml of the Magic Cream. I've never tried this before. I have been using it. I must say that it's so good. It's very hydrating. It leaves my skin feeling very plump and youthful and glowy. I love this so far. It also came with a magic serum. I put this underneath the cream. The serum absorbs faster. It's a thinner consistency. It has a little dropper. It also brightens the skin. It gives me a glow. I love the way my makeup glides on after I have used these two and I am wearing these two under my makeup today. I've been wearing these every single day since purchasing them. This is a night cream and this is called Ice Awake. This has caffeine in it, which depuffs the eyes. It has this metallic roller. It feels really nice and cooling when you apply it to the under eye. This really hydrates my under eye area. It smooths it out. It makes my concealer go on smoother. I am loving the skin set so far. Again, this is Charlotte Tilbury's Recovery Skin Set. And then I got my birthday gift. This is my birthday month. I picked the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream and it comes with a face wash. It looks like this. I, this is the cream I wear to bed at night and I have a full size of this. I love this one. These are great for traveling. And moving on to bag number two. 
I got the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And this is a repurchase. I went through one of these and I absolutely love it. I'm in the shade Natural Beige and this gives me full under eye coverage. It's not too sticky. It's not too matte. I love the formula of this. And I love that it doesn't set into my fine lines and it doesn't make me look cakey. This is hands down my holy grail concealer. This next product is the Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. I went to three Sephora's during the sale. I did not want to shop online. I wanted to go in, I wanted to swatch things, to feel them, touch them, and I wanted instant gratification. I wanted to have them right then and there. I swatched this powder in the store. And the way that it felt made me want to get this. Packaging is really sleek. And the powder looks like this. It's very silky, very fine milled. And I've been using this to set my under eye concealer. I love the way that it sets it. It doesn't stay on top of the skin. It doesn't settle into my fine lines. And this is the color medium. But this is translucent. Basically, it doesn't really have a color to it. And I absolutely love this for the under eye. This is another powder. This is by Hourglass and this is the Veil. It's a translucent loose powder and I've heard a lot about this and I wanted to try it. I have to say that it just feels really silky. It sets my makeup beautifully. It doesn't settle into my lines. It doesn't emphasize texture or pores. I used this on my face today to set my foundation and I've been loving this little guy. Then I got the Dior Backstage Blush, and this is in the color pink. Looks like this, really cute. And the inside of it looks like this. It's such a beautiful pink. I'm gonna swatch this. And I love that it's buildable. And it's like this baby pink. It just gives such a healthy pink glow to the cheeks. I like that it doesn't go on patchy or cakey. It's a very smooth, fine powder. It's very blendable and buildable. I'm so in love with this color. This is beautiful. I have this on my cheeks today. I'm loving this. I got the Sephora. This is the 12 hour colorful eyeliner. The Sephora products were 30% off which was a great deal. And I did need a black waterproof eyeliner. This is waterproof and it looks like this. And I love how black this is. I use this on my waterline and it's very smooth and it won't come off until I wash it off. And I got the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and this is in the color Iconic Nude. This one's a repurchase. When I realized I needed this, I came to the store. This was the last one there. It's a very popular shade and it goes with so many things. It's a nude color, and this is what I always wear. When you see me filming and I'm wearing lipstick, this is the lip liner I'm always wearing. And I'm also always wearing my Myth by MAC. I just love that combo, and I just keep reaching for it. It's very rare that you'll see me with like a dark lippy. And that's what the color looks like. It's a nudie beige and it just goes with everything. This is my ride or die lip liner. I couldn't be without it. And this is my third bag. So I bought two eyeshadow palettes. I told myself, I was like, girl, do not get eyeshadow palettes because there's just too many colors. I get overwhelmed. I talked about that before. Stick to a smaller one, but of course I couldn't resist. The first one I got is Rose Metals by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love the packaging of this. I love the color and these are the shades. I've been using them as you can see and I absolutely fell in love with the color story. These shades are so pigmented, so beautiful. I love the metallics. They just feel so satiny. The girl who was helping me at the Sephora where I bought this, she told me to put my finger on the tester of this one and once I did, I was completely sold. You get some matte shades. There's some beautiful like plummy rose and you also get some shimmer shades, but they're not like chunky. They're very smooth. There's no fallout. Oh my goodness. Let me swatch this. Look at that. And oh, look at this one, you guys. Look at that. I've been doing so many different looks with this. Look at this copper one. Gorgeous is that. Let me swatch one satin shade for you. This is like a semi-matte satin. Look at that. Wow. I will go ahead and put them on my hand. 
just look at these stunning shades you guys these are so pigmented they're so buttery they're so smooth so easy to work with easy to blend out i feel like this is so cohesive so easy to put together a look i feel like a lot of these are wearable everyday shadows i have been so obsessed with this palette this is gorgeous the other palette i got is by pat mcgrath this is my first pat mcgrath palette i'm so excited this is mothership moonlit seduction this is the 10th one and i went straight for the latest release i should have probably started at the beginning but i'm looking to collect these because they are all so beautiful this packaging is so luxe and it opens here palette is inside i love this black lacquer box and you have the name of the shades in here wait till i show you the colors let me show you this closer. I'm wearing this, this, and this on my eyelids today. I put together this look using the three colors and I feel like these shades are just stunning. These are the mattes, which are silky smooth. This is a pressed glitter. It didn't give me any fallout at all. Take a closer look. They just feel so buttery smooth. I'm gonna swatch some of these for you. Oh, this is so nice. So this is a gold. This is like a silver white-ish. And the one that I'm wearing today that has the sparkles, it's a dual chrome and it has a shift. It's like a purple, green. It depends which side you're looking at it from. And this is that stunning popular silver shade that's in right now. I love the color story here. This one really spoke to me. I feel like I will get use out of every single color here. They're very blendable. I just love them. So, this is so gorgeous. I've played around with this a bit. I'm looking forward to creating more looks with it. I think I'm back on the palette craze. So that was my Sephora haul and current favorites because I have been loving wearing these. Please stay tuned because I still have the fragrance favorites to show you. I just wanted to ask, have you guys shopped the sale? What did you pick up? Please let me know down in the comments below. And I'm gonna move on to the fragrances. Some of my current favorite fragrances have been sent to me in decans. They have been sent to me by my lovely friends here on YouTube. And I wanted to share them with you. Here I have Delicia de Marshmallow by Kai's Perfumes. And this was sent to me by the lovely Julia of Scent Siblings. Please check out her channel. She's so funny and so entertaining. I love watching her, she's a great human. I love that we've become friends here. This contains marshmallow, vanilla, and sugar. It smells like a jumbo, fluffy marshmallow sprinkled with a lot of powdered sugar. It's so sweet, so gourmand, so delicious. I love wearing this one and I love to layer it as well. And I am looking to buy a full bottle of this. Thank you, Julia. Julia also sent me a full bottle of Jasmine Wisp by Versace. And that one's a great dupe for Herba Pura by Zerjoff. I smelled it and I was like, I know the scent. It's a great dupe. Thank you so much, Julia. Here I have Tribeca by Bond Number no. 9. And this was sent to me by my friend Veronica from Veronica Says. She is awesome. Check out her channel. She's so entertaining, also funny. I just love our community and I love the friendships I formed on here. This has hazelnut, cacao, and caramel. This is such a delicious gourmand. Of course, I'm gonna go for the gourmand fragrances. And I have to mention, they sent me a lot more than what I'm showing you, but these were the standouts to me. These were the ones that make me wanna go out and purchase a full size, but they did send me a lot more. Tribeca. Tribeca is so good. See, I finished this. I'm gonna have to get the full size. It was sweet and decadent. It smelled just like dessert. I also have Femininity from Veronica and this is by Mancera. I've been wanting to try this one for a long time. This has leather, it has coffee. There's florals and caramel. This was another one that really spoke to me. I'm surprised I still have a little bit left to spray. Oh, this is really good. I'm planning to get a full-size bottle of this. Oh, it smells really good. It's sweet. There's a little bit of leather, not too prominent, not too animalic. 
but I do get those floral and the gourmand touches. So interesting and unique. She also sent me Paisley Sky, which is by Happy Land Fragrances. And this is such an interesting one. This has myrrh, nutmeg, oud, sandalwood, and amber green. It's very interesting because in the opening and the mid, it smells like candy. It smells really sweet and delicious. The notes don't translate into the scent. The dry down is where the oud comes in. I love it, but then I gotta respray it to get that opening again. It's a really interesting one for sure. This next one was sent to me by my friend Chris from The Perfume Nest, another wonderful human. I'm gonna put the links to all their channels down below, so please make sure to check them out. They are wonderful. She sent me What About Pop by The House of Oud, and this smells like butter popcorn with caramel. It's so good. This smells like photorealistic warm buttery popcorn drizzled with caramel or smothered with caramel. This is so delicious smelling. It's a literal gourmand. I've been wanting to try this. This is a great way for us to try fragrances without committing to a full size and not liking it. She also sent me Southern Peach by Coastal Carolina Perfumes. I have never tried anything there in Indian niche house. And this straight up smells like a Southern sweet tea with peach. This is such an addicting scent. This one smells so photorealistic. It's as if I'm having this sweet tea with peach. And I imagine this one to be so refreshing for summertime. I might get a full bottle when we get closer to summertime. Thank you so much, Julia, Veronica, and Chris for sending me these. I appreciate you all so much. Now I have my current favorite full bottle fragrances, this Angel Muse EDP. I used to have the EDT, which I decluttered a while back. I think that passion fruit note was just a little too screechy. And I wanted to bring this back into my collection, bring back another version of it into my collection. And I am obsessed with this scent. I recently purchased this and I have a dent. It has that Nutella spread chocolatey goodness. It smells gooey, chocolatey, hazelnutty, and it has that patchouli that's very prominent in here, but I love this patchouli. It also contains vetiver, which grounds this fragrance. It doesn't get too sweet. The patchouli and vetiver prevent it. This is just so modern and edgy, and I have been wearing the heck out of this. Again, this is Angel Muse DP by Mugler. Another fragrance I keep obsessing over is I Want You Forever by Jimmy Choo. I talked about this one in a few of my previous videos and I really can't get enough of this one. It's a cherry rose vetiver scent that has oak moss and it just smells so sexy and delicious. And this fragrance just calls my name. When I have it on, I keep getting whiffs of it and I just cannot get enough. It's a cheaper fruity cherry with sweet toffee and caramel absolutely delicious it's sexy warm and cozy again i want you forever by jimmy choo the next fragrance is anique 5 by aiden baba i talked about this one in quite a few of my videos and you can see by the dead the juice really darkened this was really light when i first received it this is such a beautiful warm boozy citrusy caramel amber fragrance this would make a great signature scent it smells very modern very edgy, sophisticated. I have been reaching for this one every day and you could see there's quite a dent and this one is hard to find. A meek five is a very hard one to find. So I'm hoping not to go through all of this fast. I'm gonna have to slow down. That completes my video for today. Please let me know down in the comments below what are some of your current favorites. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here soon. Take care.